We're in the psychedelic renaissance, dude. And in the past 10 years, everybody in their freaking mother is aware of the word psilocybin now. Psilocybin mushroom. <laughs> and rightfully so. Yeah. Truly magical little mushroom. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but it's interesting because sometimes whenever we've been at different expositions or whenever we've come into contact with different potential customers at different touch points than our marketing journey and things like that. We have people probe us and, you know, they're sometimes like, is this a magic mushroom? Like, it's just like magic mushrooms. And we, and well, they, it is magic. But. Yeah, it really is magical um, for a lot of reasons. And um, people have even heard that Amanita, while they might know that like it's different than psilocybin or it's different than regular magic mushrooms, they've also heard that it can be hallucinogenic right like mm -hmm. oh i've heard that that's also a trippy one mm -hmm. right um so yeah like what what is the difference between something like psilocybin mushrooms i guess specifically what is the difference between psilocybin mushrooms and the amanita muscaria it's completely different it's like broccolis and broccoli and apples you know completely yeah. different um the i you know it's it's really not it's it's maybe a little hallucinogenic i, I like to say that it's not psych psychedelic I mean, it is not psychedelic. It's maybe a little hallucinogenic in larger doses in the sense that it has this dissociative quality to it. It also does have a little bit of like a little, little minor bit of like a tryptamine psilocybin feel in really large doses, but yeah. it's it's very minor. But other than that, it's completely different. The effects are completely different. The experience it elicits is completely different. It's obviously a completely different mushroom, uh, but yeah, it's it's a completely different, it's completely different. Yeah. Um, yeah, very different. <laughs> I caught you off guard with that one because I didn't know what to say. <laughs> I, know, I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> so very different, very different use cases for each one, right? <laughs> Don't laugh at me. I'm being serious. <laughs> very different mushrooms with very different use cases, right? Um, I've experimented with this, with this a couple of times now. N not at large doses of both. I'm curious, have you taken, have you tried the combination of psilocybin with Amanita? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I actually, if I'm, I, I find that they kind of dampen each other a little bit from my personal experience. I find that they're not great to mix, me personally. Um, but what I have found is that Amanita at the tail end of a psilocybin experience or at the tail end of an LSD experience is phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. really, really wonderful. It brings you down um while lifting you up in a different way yeah yeah really really wonderful i think i think maybe the largest difference that we like to talk to people about particularly when they're microdosing or that we hear from customers is a lot of people find that psilocybin makes them anxious you know it, and particularly yeah. in microdosing like it i mean really in any doses but we find that a lot of people really don't like psilocybin microdosing because of the anxiety it elicits and i mean you know working as a gaba airject it works it works to reduce anxiety. So people don't find that uh, with, with Amanita. I actually, from what I'm seeing now, granted we're in this business, but from what I'm seeing is people appreciate and get more benefit from Amanita microdosing than they do from psilocybin microdosing. Once yeah. they, once they, once it clicks for them, you know? Yeah. Yeah, dude. Like uh, I'm huge on both and like both have been very critical for me, but if we're actually talking about more efficacious microdose, daily sort of thing yeah mm -hmm. my amanita is generally more efficacious for me yeah uh, but once again they're both their own sort of use cases i found that within like the uh using amanita and psilocybin together i guess generally just using amanita with like any sort of psychedelic right i found that what i like the utilization of that for me is like a low dose either before or within experience sure. i like that yeah um and or like you said, a larger dose at the tail end of it. Yeah. And yeah. it's a very nice way to sort of recap and ride that come down and it's like go... defrags almost and like Yeah. That. Yeah, it's it's it, I think it's like actually um a very, very cool tool for that. An underrated tool for that aspect. Well we've called it the integration medicine. Like yeah. It helps, it helps one integrate quite a lot. And yeah, yeah I, I also do like a low dose and it it, it alleviates a lot of that anxiety and in, in the psilocybin or lsd experience so 
Yeah, low doses are cool, but large large doses, I personally mixing them together, it just it dampens each other out for me personally. I guess a big difference too between these mushrooms is like an obvious one that we even think of is you know, psilocybin in most places is illegal. And as yeah. it turns out, in most places, Omnidiumascaria is completely legal to buy, yeah. possess, and sell. And now yeah. it was up to me, dude. They both be one hundred percent open market. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But that's not the case right now. Of course. And there's a lot of people who are in a lot of pain. And truly, you know, um, like these things are here. Amanita scary is here. Psilocybin is here. The, the medicine is here. It's just been held up for a long time now by bureaucratic fucking bullshit, you know? Um, and so that's one of my favorite aspects of this mushroom is that if we can ship it across the country worldwide. Yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And which one do you think is better? Amanita. Yeah, sure. Amanita is better? Oh, yeah. Yeah. In my, in my opinion. For me, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know. They're 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 they're. It's almost like a polarity scale, right? Like mm-hmm. like one isn't. They're kind of. They're on the same. They're two sides of one coin, you know. I yeah. Feel like. So maybe neither are better than and the other. But this really interesting way in my own personal story, and this thought literally just came to me. I haven't thought about this too much, but I feel like my several years of psilocybin use. Interesting play. Interesting, like was lead was like a segue into my Amanita journey. Yeah. And both journeys are like ever ongoing, you know, sure. um, but it was like the several years of psilocybin use was like the segue into the Amanita journey and the Amanita journey and getting acquainted with that has changed the way that I associate with psilocybin. Yeah. That's an interesting way. Yeah. Um, yeah. 